Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to make a review of this Tareso portable espresso machine. I'll get you through the unboxing, I'll show you uh, how to make coffee and at the end I'll share my honest thoughts. So uh, if you find this video helpful guys, I'll really appreciate if you can tap the like button and also consider to subscribe. So now let's make some coffee. And this is how the box looks like. Uh, we have a picture of the product over here, it's also refractive material. Here on the side uh, there is just a brand. Uh, at the back we have information about the company and the uh, trademarks and manufacturer. Here is the same thing, but the most important is to see what we have inside the box, so I'm gonna open it. Here the first thing that we see is a, a small brush. Here is a protective foam. And this is uh, the product, also protected with this nice foam. We have uh, the user manual, which looks uh, really interesting and it's in different languages and also explains what the product does. And now I'm going to open the product. This is the first overview. Yes, this uh, nice pattern over here made from rubber and also it's written Stareso. And uh, I'll show you also the top. So I'll go just by one by one. So here at the top is written Stareso. If you press this one and rotate a bit, uh, the pump should get activated. Just like this. And this is how you close it. And if we open this on, we can see a metal uh, pipe and also a metal container. And over here we have to pour the water. And uh, this one can be opened. And uh, here is the recipient for the coffee. So if you use a, a grounds coffee, we're just going to remove this part over here. This is, we're going to fill up with the grounds and this uh, is... Uh, uh, for the pods, which goes like this. Quite easy to be removed, just do it like this, and you can see it comes out. It has this uh, rubber material over here for more protection. And uh, here we can open this one, and uh, we have the glass, and we can drink it straight. Uh, we can drink our espresso straight from the cup. It, it also has here some measurements. And we have a scoop. And basically with the scoop we're gonna take the coffee and just gonna add it here and uh, with the bottom of the scoop we're gonna uh, press the coffee and this is the base it is uh, with rubber here at the back and also here in the on the inside and it's uh, quite stable if i put it on the table if i try to move it uh, yeah it's quite cool so now let's make some coffee now i'm going to show you how to make coffee uh, for this test i'm going to use uh, cold water because uh, this is the whole purpose uh, of uh, an espresso portable espresso machine uh, you cannot get hot water on the street, for example. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to fill up this uh, container over here with uh, coffee grounds. Yeah, seems decent. And with the back of the scoop, you can uh, press to make it even. All right, that's more or less uh, doable. Now I'm going to attach it uh, to this part which goes like this. Yeah, just make sure you lock this properly. Uh, now I'm going to lock this part. I'm gonna add it, put it like this. I'm going to add the water here at the very top. Yeah, that should be enough. And now I'm going to add the pump. I'm going to lock it. I'm going to seal the coffee not to lose the flavor. And I will slowly start to pump the whole thing about this pumping is at the beginning you will feel that it's quite easy but when it gets water inside it will start to feel uh, that is a bit hard and now as you guys can see the coffee is already pouring just keep pressing And I think that should be all, because I'll just put a bit of the microphone closer for you guys to hear. When it's finished, you can hear that sound. Yeah, and that means that the coffee, uh, I mean, there's no more water inside, then the coffee should be ready. And in order to get access to the cup, just gonna remove it like this. Make sure this one doesn't pour. 
yeah we're gonna put this aside this aside and there are two ways if uh, this uh, cup is very hot uh, you can use it with the plastic a cover or you can just take the glass like this and uh, drink it another way to make coffee is using a, a pod uh, in my case i have uh, an espresso pod these are very popular and uh, this one has to go in this compartment just make sure you place it right in the middle and then uh, this one goes in here this one goes here and it will make a hole in the coffee pod just make sure you place it exactly in the middle and then screw And then we're gonna add, put here, we're gonna add cold water. We're gonna add the pump and just uh, slowly we're gonna start pumping to get uh, the coffee. I'll show you what the catch in this one because I think this is a really good example. I'll show you at the end because I've tested before filming this part. And uh, you will probably see what type of coffee do we get. So keep pumping and pumping and yeah pretty much that's it so this is the coffee that uh, we got using the coffee pod which is significantly more compared to the uh, one that I've used uh, with the coffee grounds the smell is nice coffee is cold the color is quite decent obviously this depends on the type of coffee but I'd like to show you something now how the coffee uh, pod looks like if I open this one, it's gonna pour a bit obviously, but there is a catch over here. As you can see, we still get some water and it is extremely, extremely important to make sure you put the coffee pot exactly in the middle because if you don't, then uh, this part over here will not punch the coffee pot where it has to. And there is also just a small problem. As you can see here at the bottom, it didn't penetrate all these uh, holes properly so coffee was pouring only from this side that's why it took a bit longer but i'm quite satisfied with the amount of coffee it's uh, not as strong because of the coffee pod and uh, there's also something else that i would like to show you when i made first time the coffee with the coffee grounds this is the the grounds that i've used and uh, the thing is i would uh, suggest use espresso uh, coffee grounds because this one is not so fine and uh, I didn't get enough uh, um, coffee using uh, this one after testing this uh, espresso portable machine I can say that the results are pretty good uh, I like the fact that it's portable it's quite easy to use uh, and uh, the test that I made is with cold water because uh, obviously as I said in the video it's significantly uh, easier to get cold water instead of hot water on the uh, on the way so uh, do I recommend you to buy it or to drop it well definitely to buy it so guys if you have any questions about the product uh, you can leave them in the comment section below and I will answer there is also a link in the description where you can check out more information about the product thank you for watching and see you next time